Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Advanced Product Discount Plugin and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you how the web store owner would be able to set up the uh, different advanced product discounts for his uh, products and uh, and then how the customers would be able to uh, check the same at the web store front end so uh, uh, we'll be taking you to the web store front end first as I'm already here at the uh, front end so uh, the web store admin would be able to set up uh, four different types of uh, advanced product discounts so uh, the discounts would be based on the product categories uh, customer groups and date wise discounts so we'll be uh, taking you through each of those discounts one by one so as you can see right now we are already at a category page here and uh, from here if i add any of the production to my cart for example this one so let me tap here in the add uh, to cart button you can see that the uh, product would be added to my cart and if I tap here and uh, here you can see that we have the web cool advanced product discount uh, that is applicable on this uh, particular product that's the black high heels uh, that comes under the open cart advanced product discount uh, category so uh, this is how uh, the admin can basically set up the uh, different discounts for the uh, products categories and uh, on the customer groups and date wise and uh, basically uh, the uh, discounts can be fixed uh, or uh, in percentage and apart from that uh, as we know that there are multiple discounts uh, that will be available so basically the admin can set the priority of each and every uh, discount that he has created and uh, would be able to enable or disable the discounts as required so this was how we can add while a customer has the product into the cart at that time uh, the customer can see the applicable product discount on the product that the, that the customer has added uh, within the cart itself and uh, now let's go to the product page let's go to the uh, same product or uh, or let's go to this black nail polish let me go back and uh, thereafter we'll select that another uh, product that is it black nail polish and on the uh, product page we'll be adding this particular product to the cart so let me tap add to cart button and uh, here you can see that right now uh, we have a web cool advanced product discount and that's $104.35 so if I remove this black high heels uh, then you can see that we have the advanced uh, product discount that is for $4.25 on the black nail polish product that we have added into our cart now uh, after adding uh, the product to the cart the uh, customers can basically tap on the uh, checkout button to make a checkout thereafter along with the discount for uh, the product that they have added within their uh, cart so right now i have not uh, logged in so let me log into my customer and uh, let me show you the workflow of placing an order after choosing the uh, advanced discount for that uh, product that the customer has added to the cart and now here I'll just tap on the continue button and then under the delivery details we'll choose our address we can also add a new address then we'll be choosing the uh, shipping method and lastly we'll tap here on the continue button to place the order and uh, here you can see that we have the web cool advanced product discount for $4.25 and uh, now if the customer goes to the order history and checks the order that he has just placed then he'll be able to see the uh, respective uh, discount that has been applied to the product itself so if i scroll down here you can see that we have the uh, web cool advanced product discount for four dollars and 25 cents and the customer had to pay only 85 dollars and 75 cents uh, for this particular order so that is how uh, the uh, customers can make use of the uh, different discounts that the admin has set up for the products the categories uh, and according to the customer groups and date wise now uh, uh, also uh, the applicable uh, discount is visible in the uh, cart as well so uh, let's go to one of the uh, products uh, that we have here under the open cart advanced product discount uh, category as you can see so now uh, let's uh, add this particular floral top into uh, the cart from the product page so i'll just choose its variation add that to add it to the uh, cart here you can see that uh, right now we have the advanced product discount as 35 dollars for this i can tap here in the view cart uh, button and then i can also see the uh, particular product discount that is available for the product that the customer has 
added to the cart so that's how uh, the uh, advanced product discount is visible on uh, the within the cart on the view and uh, uh, edit cart as you can see right now uh, within the cart itself and at the time of checkout and on the order history as well so uh, that was how we can apply the discounts for the product by navigating to a product and then adding it to the cart then we have the category based wherein we'll be able to uh, the uh, discount is applicable to the products uh, for example if the products uh, come under the category food and the admin has a the different discount like 20 uh, percent on the uh, food category so from the category whenever a product is added to the cart then the customer would be able to receive 20 percent discount uh, on that particular product that the customer has added to the cart apart from that uh, uh, if the admin has said the product discount is 10 percent then whenever a customer navigates to a particular product and uh, adds that uh, to the cart then the product uh, discount would be added to that particular product and then the customer can make a checkout thereafter and similarly for the customer group uh, the discount would be applicable uh, that is based on the customer group and whenever a customer from that particular group uh, obviously the admin has replied the discount uh, will add that uh, would add any of the products to the cart and then the enabled discount for that customer group will be applied automatically to that particular uh, customer uh, customer that falls under that particular group and the uh, discount would then be applicable for that particular product uh, that the that the customer from that respective group has added to the cart for a checkout and uh, similarly the date wise discount can also be applied and uh, it would uh, basically uh, the admin basically would uh, set up by enabling the uh, date wise discount and uh, Thereafter, when the admin has created a discount according to the date, the admin can create a date wise discount from a starting date to the end date. And whenever a customer will visit the website between the dates for which the discount is created, the customer will get the discount on the product uh, according to the set discount uh, for the products. So you can see that this is a date wise one. And uh, that was how the uh, customers can make use of the uh, advanced discounts within the open cart web store itself from the product category group uh, and the date wise discounts can be applicable and the admin can set them up from the admin backend panel so now let me take you to the admin backend panel and uh, let's see how the admin would be able to set up the open cart advanced product discounts from the uh, admin panel itself so for that i'll just take you to the admin backend panel now so here I'm at the uh, admin backend panel for the OpenCart web store and I'll be logging into my admin backend panel. So I'll just enter my username and password and tap on the login button and we'll be navigated to our dashboard as you can see right now. Now uh, after you successfully install this particular plugin you'll have this advanced discount uh, sub menu option on the left hand side panel and if I tap on that then we have four different uh, section here one is the product discount i'll be opening each in uh, the window then we have the category discount we have the customer group discount we have the date wise discount now after you successfully install this product to uh, make the initial configurations for this particular product you need to uh, navigate through uh, extensions then extensions and uh, on the extensions page you just need to choose the modules and uh, then you just need to scroll down to the section that is uh, here we can see the uh, extension that's the open cart advanced product discount and from here you just need to tap the edit button and that would bring up the initial configuration settings for the open cart advanced product discount uh, plugin itself and here you can set up the discount title that will be visible to the customers at the front end and as we can see that uh, when we're on the uh, front end uh, so for that let me add the product to the cart first and now uh, if i go back to the cart here at the top uh, then here you can see the web cool advanced product discount now this uh, name can be changed uh, from here so you can set up the discount title you can choose to enable or disable the open cart advanced product discount functionality you can set, set up the minimum sum uh, for which uh, the uh, advanced product discount would be uh, uh, available then you can choose the discount types so uh, basically you need to select the discount types in the order of their priority 
So the priority is first given to the product, then the category, then the customer group, and lastly to the date wise there. So uh, you can choose uh, the discount types that you want to set up for your Open Gut web store, and they'll work according to the priority that is set here. Thereafter, you have the uh, discount type sequence, and uh, from here, you'll be able to um, set the discount uh, sequence. So you can make category to have the uh, uh, have the have the what we say as the uh, priority uh, first. Otherwise, you can set up the customer group to have the priority first, and that depends upon your requirement. And accordingly, you can set up the discount type sequences. And lastly, uh, you can set up the category preference type. So uh, basically, here uh, the discount applied in the order specified in the selected option. So if you uh, choose child to parent, then it would work as child to parent, and uh, parent to child, then it would uh, work as parent to child. So that's basically the category preference type. How we want to make it uh, apply for the categories there. And uh, lastly, you just need to tap here on the save button to uh, save the configurations for the Open Card Advanced Product Discount plugin. And now let's come back to the uh, that was the initial configuration now let's go to the advanced discount uh, section and here we were uh, talking about the uh, product discount category customer group and date wise so I'll open them one by one in uh, different windows once again and now let's go to the product uh, discount section first so here the admin can find all of the products for reviews the product discount has been added by the uh, web store admin and uh, the admin can uh, uh, check the discount status for each under the discount status column and uh, can check the discount type for each of the products under the discount type column along with the discount value here as you can see to add a new product uh, or to add a new uh, discount to the product the admin can tap here in the add uh, button and that would bring up the uh, section wherein the uh, admin would be able to search for the products within the web store the admin can choose the product, can uh, make use of the discount type, whether you want to set it as a fixed discount or percentage one. So you can set the fixed discount, you can set the uh, uh, discount value, and you can set the discount status, whether it's enabled or disabled, disabled, and then you can uh, save the product discount. So for example, MacBook Pro, we have set it as a fixed one, along with uh, what we say as the uh, fixed discount as 378 uh, there so uh, if I go back and if I try and uh, search that product that's the MacBook MacBook Pro and if I filter that out and if we edit that uh, particular product actually there's no need to uh, edit but even if you edit you will you'll be able to see the discount value that's the 376 uh, uh, dollars so that's a fixed discount and uh, right now if uh, we go ahead and we go to the uh, web store front end and here if I search uh, for the product that's the MacBook Pro and uh, if I add it to the cart right now I'll just tap here twice and uh, here you can see that the advanced product discount has been applied to the MacBook Pro for $376 so uh, the uh, total would now be sixteen hundred and twenty four dollars so now let me take you back to the section here so you can also filter the products for which you have uh, added the product discount and uh, we can clear this out to display the complete list of products for which uh, the admin has added the discounts now uh, that was how we can add the discount you can also delete any of them in bulk as well by selecting all of them or by selecting each respective uh, discount product and then deleting the uh, section there that was about the product discount now let's go to the category one and similarly here you can add a new category discount by tapping here in the add new button at the top right hand side you can choose the categories by tapping here you can set the discount type as percentage discounted value so if we have selected percentage discount we can set the percentage discount as 20 enabled and we can save the respective discount that we have created for our uh, category and accordingly uh, that uh, would then be uh, displayed here within this particular list that we have and uh, uh, apart from that the admin can see all of the uh, category names for which the discount different uh, type of discounts have been created along with the discount value for each of the uh, uh, categories that are there and 
apart from that uh, the admin can also edit any of the created ones so to uh, edit just tap here on the edit button and that brings up the uh, section as you can see so if you have chosen a subcategory then that subcategory would be displayed the discount type and the discount value for that so you can change that as well as for your own requirement there and uh, that was much about the category discount section now let's go to the uh, customer group discount so here the admin can see the uh, complete list of customer group names uh, that have been added along with the discount type for each of the customer groups and the discounted value and the discount status as well the admin can edit by tapping the edit for the respective uh, discount that he has created and he can then make the change for the discount type or the discount value and can enable or disable the uh, current customer group discount that he has just edited now let's go back and to add a new customer group discount the admin just needs to uh, tap on the add button here on the top right hand side and that brings up the uh, section where you can choose your customer group from the already created ones that you've created so even if you create a new one that would also get displayed here under this particular section and then you can set the discount type as fixed or percentage the discount value and the status for this particular discount for the uh, customer group uh, that you have chosen then you just need to type here in the save button and the customer group discount would be saved so that was about the customer group discount and now let's come to the last one that's the date wise discount and similarly you'll be able to find the discount from and to dates between which the discounts would be applicable and uh, you can see the discount types as well for each of the discount from and discount to dates according to that you can choose uh, or you can see the discount types you can also see the discount value for each of the discount from and to uh, dates that you have uh, set up and the discount statuses as well. To edit, just tap here on the edit button for uh, the respective discount from or the discount uh, date wise discount. Then uh, you can change the discount type, discount value, and the discount status there. Apart from that, if you want, you can also change the, uh, the dates as per your own requirement by changing the dates. Just tap the save button and the date wise discount would be uh, set up and to add a new one just tap here on the add new and you can uh, choose your dates between which you will provide the uh, discounts uh, you need to set the fixed or percentage you can set the discount value so fixed discount so $20 would be uh, the discount there enabled and tap on the save button there and that would save your date wise discount all right because uh, the date uh, range is already present there so that was not saved um, that's nothing to worry about that's a good thing so uh, that's how you can create the different type of advanced uh, product discounts under the advanced discount uh, section in the admin backend panel for your open cart web store using the open cart advanced product discount plugin and you have the option to create the product category customer group and the date wise discounts according to your own requirement there so that was much about the open card advanced product discount plugin and if uh, you have still have any questions or queries you can also uh, check the user guide that i have attached within the uh, description section below otherwise you can also get back to us with your queries or suggestions regarding the plugin at uh, support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.ubdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead